Hi everyone, we're going to be working with linear equations. Uh, an equation is a statement in which two expressions are equal, so we have an example of an equation here, as well as a um, more complex com equation over here. But to solve an equation means to find all the numbers that make the equation true. And so, and sometimes these are called solutions or roots. A uh, linear equation in one variable could look like this format. But uh, we're going to first of all just get into some examples and solve these equations to see what the solutions are. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is be able to simplify both sides of the equation before we start. So on this side, we want to distribute this out and get 8x minus 24 is equal to 16. And then now we're ready to start solving. Our goal is to get the variable by itself. So the first thing I want to do is I say, well, what did they do to this? They subtracted 24. So we want to do the opposite of that, which means to add 24 to both sides. The opposite or the inverse, more precisely. Um, bring down your 8x. And then we would get equals 40. And then we ask ourselves, what did they do to x? They multiplied by 8, so we're going, we're going to do the inverse and divide both sides by 8. So x is equal to 5. Now I'm going to take a few minutes on, on this and maybe one other problem to check my work. But understand, um, this can be a little bit time consuming, but it is a great method um, that you should use. I would definitely suggest it to do on tests possibly or anything where you just want to double check yourself. Um, but for the purpose of time, we're just going to check a few of them and then know that you can do that on your own. So I take my original to everywhere there's an X in the original problem. And I'm just copying this down. Everywhere there's an X, I put a parenthesis. And now I want to substitute 5 back in to see if that's correct. And then I do order of operations. So I would say 2 times 5 is 10. Okay. 10 minus 6 is 4. And then, of course, over here, 4 times 4 is 16. This is a true statement. Therefore, I know that x equals 5 is correct. Okay, we're going to move this out the way. And we're going to start solving number 2. Check your left-hand side. It's simplified. Your right-hand side is simplified. We're ready to begin solving the equations. I like to move all my variables to the left if possible and all my constant terms to the right. There's more than one way to do this, but so I'm going to take this 2x. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And then I would get 2x minus 6 is equal to 10. And then I'm recalling that I want to get the x by itself, so I want to move this over here. If they subtract 6, I'm going to do the inverse, which is add 6 to both sides. So I would have 2x is equal to 16. Divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 8. I'm going to move this out the way. I'm going to check this problem as well. So our check is to write the original. 4x minus 6 equals 2x plus 10. That's my original equation right there. Everywhere there's an x, put a parenthesis. And I'm going to substitute 8. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 2 is 16. So 32 minus 6 is 26. 26 checks out. So I know that x is equal to 8 is correct. So you have this check method that you can use at all times. For the purpose of these videos, um, we're not going to check any more of our answers. But know that you can do that. And if you were taking a test, it would probably be a good idea. Okay. Our left hand side is simplified. My right hand side is simplified, so I'm ready to start solving the equation. I'm going to move all the x's terms over to the left, which would now give me negative 9x. 
and everything that is not an x term over to the right. So if this is add non, I want to subtract non. Then I want to divide both sides by a negative 9. Be very careful with your signs. So then a negative divided by a negative is a positive 4. Okay. All right. Over here, we want to distribute first. It's not simplified, so we're going to say 2x minus 10 plus 3x. Add like terms here, so we get 5x minus 10. We're not solving the equation yet. We're just simplifying. Now that my left-hand side is simplified and my right-hand side is simplified, I'm ready to start solving the equation. To solve the equation, our goal is to isolate the variables. So I want to move this x over here. So I'm going to subtract x, subtract x. 4x minus 10 is equal to 18 get x by itself, so if they subtract 10, I want to do the opposite and add 10. So I would have 4x equals 28, divide both sides by 4. x is equal to 7. Okay. Um, we're going to look at this next one over here. This side's not simplified, nor this side. So our first step is going to be simplify both sides. So I'm going to say negative 12x plus 20 is equal to 3. And I need to distribute this negative out so that it changes the sign of everything in the parentheses. Nothing else I can do on my left-hand side. But over here, I have a 3 and a negative 7, so I have negative 8x minus 4. Simplified, simplified, I'm ready to start solving the equation. So I'm going to move all of the x terms to the same side. And then I would like to move all of the constant terms away from the x. So I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. So you have negative 4. x is equal to negative 24. They multiply by negative 4. We divide both sides by negative 4. And x is equal to 6. Okay, we're going to finish this thing out with a fraction. I'm going to move, erase some of this out of the way so we can get a good look at it. Okay, don't be intimidated by the fractions. When we do this step to get rid of it, it's going to make things look much nicer and more um, familiar to you. So the first thing you want to do is you have a fraction, a fraction, a fraction, a fraction. Look at all the fractions and get a common denominator. In this case, it appears as if our common denominator is going to be a 10. So multiply every term in the problem by 10. Now, term for term for term, you always want to start with this, divide by the denominator. So if I divide by 10, you get 1. Divide by 10, you get 1. Or in this case, the 10s cancel each other, you're out, each other out. So you get 3x plus 6. Just this numerator is left over. And then I start over. I'm even going to use a different color. This one, divide by 2. You always divide by whatever the denominator is. So divide by 2, I get 1. Divide by 2, you have 5. You now multiply what's left. 5 times that 1 that was already there. So you get minus 5. Keep that x. And I move to the next term. Always divide by the denominator. So divide by 5. I get 1. Divide by 5, I have a 2. So I take this 2 and multiply it times the 2 in the x that was already there, and I would have a 4x. And then I start over here. Divide by the denominator. Divide by 5, divide by 5, multiply what's left, which is 2 
times this 33 is going to be 66. Add like terms, so I need to add this, this, and get negative 2x. Simplified, simplified. We're ready to start solving. Move all your x terms to one side. Move everything that's not an x term away to the other side. And then divide both sides by negative 6 and solve for x. We find out that x is equal to negative 10. Do not be intimidated by the fractions. Once you do this step right here, you will then have a um, fraction-free problem to work.